my from my mother's side, her great grandmother and her family originally lived in Antep, Armenia, and during the genocide, she escaped to Lebanon, Beirut. Her brother escaped to Argentina, and after that, they. Uh, I also have relatives that moved to uh, France, and from my father's side, they were from Bolis, and they had moved to Lebanon also. And I have relatives in California now, Montreal and Toronto. Well, I know the story of my great-grandmother from my mother's side. She had lived in Antib uh, during the genocide and uh, during deportations she was separated from her family and never saw them again. Um, she was, but before that she was forced to marry at a very young age so she would have somebody to look after her. And um, she, her and her husband escaped the, from deportations and moved to Lebanon, Be Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, once there, she heard that her brother had survived, which was the only family member that had survived, and he was in Argentina. And uh, she, she couldn't, um, they couldn't meet for many years. And uh, she, they lived there until the civil war in Lebanon when the family moved out of Lebanon and went to other countries. Justice should look like receiving what we had taken away from us and also recognition and reparations. Well, one of the big factors was that we were dislocated from our motherland and well, because of that we don't live there anymore. We were moved uh, first to Lebanon and now to other places around the world. And other than that is our family history that we lost a lot of information and um, about ourselves and uh, we don't know, there's gaps in our history. I'm saddened because as a result of the Armenian Genocide, I've lost a lot of family members, um, destroying my family tree, and um, been dislocated from my motherland and having my family having to move out and live in uh, different